Kevin the Smasher Smets is one of the most intimidating Schmodown competitors I've ever seen. He's relatively new to the league, but within his three Inner Geekdom matches, he's already proven himself to be a phenomenal talent. With his upcoming match against Kalinowski at Collision, let's take a look back at Smets and his Schmodown career up until now. So unlike 90% of the people in the league, Kevin Schmodown's story begins before his first match. Like Chance Ellison and Paulo Yama, Kevin is a fan league veteran. He was dominant in those leagues and eventually found himself auditioning for the show via Patreon. While Harloff ended up making the decision that he wasn't quite ready to compete, this rejection only fueled the Smasher going forward. He kept studying, and eventually he made his debut in February of 2019. Kevin brought along his manager, Kaiser. He's the quick-witted loudmouth who does the talking before and after matches, while Smets pretty much lets his trivia knowledge speak for itself. The Smasher's first match was against fellow newcomer David Moore. While Moore was certainly a solid competitor, he came up against an absolute freight train in Smets. Round 1, 10 questions, Kevin was perfect. He gets the bonus question right, and he's on to round 2. He's one of the few competitors that seemed happy about spinning movie release dates, and we soon found out why. Smets tore through the category, only missing once on an incredibly tough question, and that allowed Moore to sneak into round 3. David misses his first question, and Smets walks away with a dominant TKO in his first match, nearly going perfect. After plenty of trash talk between Jay Washington and Kaiser on social media, the Smasher found his next opponent. So let's see how Kevin does against a more seasoned Inner Geekdom competitor. While he didn't go perfect in round one, he wasn't far away from it, and this commanding lead gave Smet some real momentum going into round two. Jay spun first, Kevin stole some questions, and then he was off to the races. He spun a big strength in Harry Potter, and it was two-pointer after two-pointer until he knocked out Jay Washington in the second round. Alright, so we started off with Smets playing a rookie, then a veteran, so what's next? How about former Inner Geekdom champion Hector Navarro? If somehow you were not impressed with his first two nearly perfect victories, surely beating a former champ will give you some respect for Kevin Smets. I sound like a broken record here, but again, the Smasher goes nearly perfect in round one. For Navarro, he was coming off of a long break, so he was getting the ring rust off. Kevin spins the wheel and lands on opponent's choice. Navarro cleverly picks who said it, which I feel like most competitors will agree that this is the hardest slice on the wheel. So for the first time in his Schmodown career, Smets did not have a strength in round two. However, the Smasher seemed unfazed. He did well in the category, and it was up to Navarro to try and make a big comeback during his round of questions. Unfortunately for Hector, he spun two weaknesses back to back, and Smet started getting some steals. With the game in knockout territory, I present to you one of my favorite moments of season six thus far. Go to far, five. Five. Going. Four. Dwallin, give me Kalinowski. Wow! wow. That is ice cold. That's one of the biggest mic drop moments in the history of the Schmodown, in my opinion. So there we have it. Kevin Smets is going up against former Inner Geekdom champ Mike Kalinowski in a number one contenders match at Collision. Mike is clearly Kevin's most fearsome challenge yet, but let's try and comprehend what we've witnessed so far this season. Kevin has played in three IG matches, he's gotten three knockouts, and he's only missed a handful of questions during that entire period. That is ridiculous. Whatever the outcome is at Collision, I'm sure it's going to be one of the best Inner Geekdom matches of all time, and probably one of the best number one contenders matches too. That matchup could easily be a main event championship match. And probably my favorite part about the Smasher's whole story is that he's continued to work harder and harder until he finally got to this moment. Obviously, there's the stuff about the fan leagues, but watch this video from the Schmodown Awards. Smets called out Kalinowski before he even started competing. Sitting right here, watching the champions talk. He has no idea I'm coming for him. Kevin the Smasher Smets is impressive to say the least, and honestly inspirational. I'm really excited to see where he goes next.